Kuzu Zalpo and welcome to another exciting episode of Do You Know Your Child? I'm Choni, your host. Good communication is an important parenting skill. Parenting can be more enjoyable when positive parent-child relationship is established. Whether you are parenting a toddler or a teenager, good communication is the key to building a good relationship. Let's take a look at last week's commitment. I and my son, we spend a lot of time together. We play a lot, we read a lot. He reads to me, I read to him. We really miss you too, Shaggy. You ate the evidence you fired. Fired, Shaggy and Scooby saw. But just then the phone rang. And so being on this show was really nice because that was one more activity for the two of us together. We sure miss dad, right? Yes. But uh, we really enjoy being together. We have our arguments, we have our discussions, we have our fun, right, and we really enjoyed the show. The destiny of our country lies in the hands of our younger generations. As, as the cream of our youth, the students must play a progressive role and shoulder the responsibility of shaping the destiny of our country. From all my watches, this is my favorite watch. I got this watch from a show called Do You Know Your Child? I like this watch because it's been given from the people of this show. Thank you. Giving and receiving respect is yet another major aspect of any individual's life. Not only about respecting people, but children should be taught to respect their belongings, their relationships, the earth too. Bestowing respect upon others will help kids earn respect for themselves, thereby contributing to their character and enhancing chances of growth and success. Let's see which family we have today. Hi, my name is Tichin Palden. I'm a teacher by profession. My elder daughter, she's 10 plus. She's studying in Temple Primary School. Her name is Lhazan Sitim Choda. And this is my younger daughter. She's not admitted in the school right now. She's just four plus. And her name is Penderika. And this is my husband. His name is Streng Choda. <laughs> this is our family. <laughs> As a mother, it's very great. I have very two beautiful daughters. They're very sweet and they're very um, like obedient. And it's very great to be a, a mother. <laughs> Let's welcome our first participant and ask her daughter later the same 10 questions and tell you their answers. Welcome to the show. La. Um, do you know your child? La? That's my first question. Yes, la. And what are some ways, what are some techniques you use to uh, make sure that you know you're, you're in touch with your daughters? La? I stay with them every day. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And then I, I, I help them every day. I see. And um, you are a teacher by profession. Yeah. Well, does, do you think that ever helps you because you're dealing with kids at work and yeah. then you come home and you only have to deal with two of them, right? Yeah. Um, do you think it helps to be a teacher? Yes. Yes. Um, yeah. And I get to know how to deal with mm -hmm. kids at school from my two daughters. Yes, yes, <laughs> definitely. And as a teacher, you get to learn a lot of... Um, I don't know, techniques and tips of um, how to cope with such certain situations yeah, or how to yeah. deal with certain children. Yeah. So could you maybe give us one tip so um, that all the parents who aren't educated in parenting um, could maybe learn something, one thing or two? I'm a primary teacher mm -hmm, and yes, then I get to deal with small kids. Yes, sir. And I, yep. and I have to do, like use so many te techniques with small kids, yeah, especially. Of course. Not to hurt the emotion. We have to be really careful with the emotions. Yes, Leo. Yeah. Mm. And I think that is one thing that we yeah. overlook in, the, in our culture. We yeah. think children don't have emotions or something, or at least it's not as important as ours, the adults. 
emotions. Now it's different actually. Uh, mm -hmm. Before it was like that. Before it was like teacher ruled. Now we really have to take care of their emotions mm -hmm. also children. They are very sensitive. Yes. Unlike past. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, um, first of all, I really want to thank you for taking the time to come here with your daughter. Before we dive into the questions, let me explain to you the rules. I have 10 questions with me and I'll ask you the 10 questions about your daughter. Then I'll call your daughter here and then I'll ask the same 10 questions to uh, her. And then later on, I'll tell you the answers. All right? Okay. So very simple rules. If you have any questions, you can interrupt me anytime. All right? Here's the okay. first question. Do you talk to your child about telling the truth? Yeah. This is one important thing I do with my daughters. Mm -hmm. I make sure they tell truth. And if they make mistakes, I make sure they I punish them. Okay. All I right. don't want them to do this again and again. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, do they understand the importance of being honest then now? I really hope so, but <laughs> they're going you to try your, yeah, but okay. I try my best. Okay, yeah. all right. <laughs> Question number two. Most of the time, does your child listen to you? Sometimes yes, and sometimes no. <laughs> mm -hmm. So which situations yes, which situations uh, no? They want their desires to be fulfilled. Mm -hmm. And every time we cannot do it. Mm -hmm. And I like try to put it which one is important and which one is mm -hmm. not. Mm -hmm. And I'm, if it is important, yeah, I make sure it is fulfilled. Mm -hmm. If it's not then I make sure it's not good for them. Mm -hmm. But sometimes, yes, they listen. Sometimes they don't. Okay, so <laughs> yeah. it's 50-50. Yeah. All right. Question number three. Do you have a hard time saying no to your child? Yes, mm -hmm. definitely. How do you say no then? I try my best explaining to them. Mm -hmm. But yes, some, sometimes we lack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, but yes, I try my best. Okay, so as a teacher then, have you found any ways to say no? In the school, school also, like we have to be very firm with our no, mm -hmm. because kids are very tough. Mm -hmm. They cannot accept no from us. Mm -hmm. It's same with my daughters yes, also. Of course. <laughs> it's very tough I for see. the no answer from mm -hmm. us, especially. Mm -hmm. They always feel that whatever they ask or whatever they want, it should be fulfilled by us parents. Yes, no. I see. But yes, I try my best to say no. As, yes, <laughs> as a parent should. Question number four. If your daughter refuses to eat breakfast, what would you do? I give her options. Mm -hmm. If she doesn't want uh, rice and food, then I give. I make sure she drinks tea. Okay. But sometimes, yes, she's very stubborn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so do you ever uh, let her go without breakfast? I make sure she takes it, but sometimes, yes, she does go. <laughs> okay, all right. Question number five. What do you tell your daughter when she makes a mistake? I directly tell her it's a mistake. Mm -hmm. And I make sure she corrects it. Mm -hmm. She does it correctly. And then I, I really want her not to make that mistake again and mm -hmm. again. I try my best. I see. Okay. Question number six. How many hours of TV can she watch in a day? <sighs> That's unlimited for her. Okay. All right. <laughs> she doesn't listen to me. Uh huh. So she can but, watch yeah. <laughs> any amount of our, uh, TV. Yeah. And can she watch any channel too? Mostly she goes for cartoons. Cartoons. Okay. Yeah. All adult. Right. I try. I try my best to. Not to let her work. Okay. But yes, sometimes she does. <laughs> I see. So as a parent then, you have a child who um, is a boss of her own, right? Can I say that? Not boss of but, her okay, own. Okay, let's say speaking sp specifically to TV hours. Yeah, yeah. Then um, do you think you, it's healthy? I know it's not healthy. Mm -hmm. uh, I really want to work it out on that. Mm -hmm. I'm trying my best. All right, question number seven. Do you scream at your children when they are <laughs> naughty? Yes, definitely. <laughs> okay, all right. Have you ever felt that um, this should change? Or do you think screaming is okay as long as you don't hit them? Yes, I feel that it's okay just to make them scared. Mm -hmm. This is what I do at school also. Okay. Beating, I'm very... Yeah, against. <laughs> yeah, yeah, against definitely. Yes. Okay, so you do scream at your children. Yep. All right. When they deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Question number eight. If she could color her room, what color would it be? Pink. <laughs> pink, all right. Yeah. Is her bedroom color pink now? No. Okay, but she would paint it pink, yeah. okay. Question number nine. Do you have different chores or household works for your children to do? No, as such, she doesn't have any particular work, mm -hmm. but yes, side by side, she helps me a lot. Mm -hmm. With but what? I, with, even with like small, small housework, mm -hmm. she does help me when mm -hmm. I tell her to do it. Mm -hmm. But uh, fixed, I don't have anything for her. I see, okay. All right, so only when you ask her to yeah. help, she'll help. Okay, yeah. question number 10. When does your child prefer to do homework? Is it right after school, uh, right before or after supper, uh, or before bedtime? Before bedtime. Before bedtime, so yeah. after dinner? 
yes. before bedtime. Yes. Okay, with this you've finished all the 10 questions. Good job. <laughs> now let's have your daughter over. We just finished talking with the mom. Now we have the daughter with us. Welcome to the show, Hazin. How are you? Fine. Good. Before we jump into the questions, why don't you introduce yourself, okay? My name is Hazin Siljan Chota. I'm in class. I am in class five. I study in Tupu Primary School. Okay. And how old are you? I'm 10 years old. 10 years old. Fifth standard, right? Okay. Let me explain to you what just happened before you came here, okay? I asked your mom 10 questions about you. Now I'm going to ask these 10 questions to you. The question, did you watch the show before? Yes? So you know the rules, right? Do you? No. No? Okay. There are no such thing as rules. You'll just keep answering and then later on I'll take your answer and your mom's answer and then tally and whatever the score, that'll be your mom's score. Okay. Here is your question number one. Does your mother talk to you about telling the truth? Yes. And what does she say about it? Always tell the truth. Okay, always tell the truth. Very good. Question number two. Most of the time, do you listen to your mother? No. Why? Why do you not listen to your mother? Because I'm busy watching TV. You're busy watching TV? So it's no time for mom, <laughs> mom right? Question number three. Does your mother say no to you? Yes. Does she say it often or sometimes? Sometimes. Sometimes, okay. If she says no, how do you react? What is your reaction? What I do you get do? Angry. You get angry and then what do you do? I run away. You I run away, that. okay? <laughs> That's very cute. Question number four. If you refuse to eat breakfast, what would your mother do? Nothing. Nothing? <laughs> she doesn't do anything? There are times when you don't eat breakfast? Why? Do you know that breakfast is the most important meal of the day? Yes. Then why do you not eat it? Because I'm in a hurry to go to school. Okay, you're in a hurry. Then maybe you could um, get up early next time, all right? Now your mom has the reason to, an excuse for her to wake you up early in the morning, huh? Okay? <laughs> Question number five. What does your mother tell you when you make a mistake? Do it again in homeworks. If you did your homework wrong, she would ask you to do it again. Yes. Now, let's say if you lost your friend's book, what does your mom say to you? Find it. Oh, she's going to say, uh, look for it. And then, if you can't find it? I feel sorry to my friend. Okay, she, so she would ask you to say sorry to your friend? All right, okay. Question number six. How many hours of TV can you watch in a day? Three, four. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven? <laughs> yes. So... Mom doesn't say anything about your um, TV hours? She does. She does tell you, but do you listen? No. No? Okay, so you can watch any amount of TV you want? All right. What do you watch on TV? Doraemon. Doraemon? But why? Why so much of Doraemon? I would get fed up in 30 minutes. Mm. Do you like Doraemon yes, so much? Me. You can watch it for hours. All right. What is the one good thing about Doraemon? What did Doraemon teach you? Doraemon helps me with that. Okay, so helping. All right, fine, very good. At least you're learning something. Question number seven. Does your mother scream at you when you are naughty? Yes. Yes. And how do you look at her? Huh? Like, like that. Do you say anything to her? No. Okay, you just look like that. Give me that look again. All right. Question number eight. If you could color your room, what would it be? Pink. Just like your Kira, your Tego, right? Pink, you like pink? Yes. Why do you like pink? Because it's a bright color. It's a bright color, right? It makes you happy, right? It's a very happy color. Very good. Question number nine. This is your second last question. Do you have any household work? Do you do anything, any yes. other, any work at home? I clean my toys. You clean your toys. Is it is it something that you have to do or do you do it yourself? I do. You do it yourself without anyone asking you to do it? So mom doesn't give you anything to do, right? She tells me to clean my toys. Mm-hmm. And that's it. And you do it. Do you do it happily or do you sulk and do it? Sorry. You sulk and do it. Okay, all right. But at least you do it. Question number 10. When do you prefer to do your homework? Do you like to do your homework right after your school or before your dinner, or after your dinner, or before you go to bed? Before dinner. Before dinner? Why do you do your homework before dinner? Because I want to watch TV. 
Then <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you want to watch TV. That's why you quickly do your homework, right? Do you get to watch your TV before you do your homework? Yes. Yes? Well, you've finished answering all the 10 questions, so good for you. Now, we're going to take a look at your scores. The wish. Actually, not your score, your mom's score. All right? <laughs> do you talk to your child about telling the truth? Yeah. Yes. Most of the time, does your child listen to you? Sometimes yes and sometimes no. No. Do you have a hard time saying no to your child? Yes. Yes. If your daughter refuses to eat breakfast, what would you do? I give her options. Okay. What do you tell your daughter when she makes a mistake? I make sure she corrects it. After first How many hours of TV can she watch in a day? That's unlimited for her. Three, four. <laughs> Three, four, five, six. Do you scream at your children when they are naughty? <laughs> Yes, definitely. Yes. If she could color her room, what color would it be? Pink. <laughs> Pink. Do you have different chores or household works for your children to do? It does help me when mm -hmm. I tell her to do it. Clean my toys. When does your child prefer to do homework? Is it right after school, before or after supper, or before bedtime? Before bedtime. Before dinner. We now have the scores and it is 5 out of 10. But let's discuss the answer that you weren't able to get, right? Question number two. Most of the time, does your child listen to you? She, you, you you said sometimes she does, sometimes not, but she she says no. <laughs> Outright, no, I don't listen to my mom, right? Do you not never listen to your mom or sometimes you listen? Sometimes. When do you listen to her? Sometimes. Sometimes, okay, when you want to listen to her, right? <laughs> All right. If your daughter refuses to eat breakfast, what would you do? You said you'd give her options and, and at least make sure that she eats something. But she said she can go without eating breakfast, right? Then what do you tell your daughter when she makes the mistakes? You said, tell her that it's wrong, right? And you said, uh, your mom would ask you to say sorry or apologize, right? So that didn't go along, so I uh, wasn't able to give you any mark for that. But for the um, second last question, which was, do you have different chores or household work for your chil uh, children? You said... Um, she helps me when I ask her to. And she says she cleans her toys, right? And um, she does it herself, but she said her mom does ask her to clean up, clean up right? So for that, I'm going to give you a score, which makes your 5 out of 10 to 6 out of 10, all right? Is, does that make you, make you happy? Good. All right, and the last uh, question wasn't right, which... When does your child prefer to do your homework? You said before bedtime, she said before dinner. Hmm. Okay, all right. Sometimes you don't have any fixed time, so maybe that's the confusion, yeah. yeah. Okay, with this, um, looking at the questions and the answers that you've given, is there any kind of reflection? Do you, did you realize anything about your daughter or the, maybe the relationship that you share with her? From now, I think I have to make sure <laughs> it's a compulsory for mm -hmm. her to take breakfast. Yeah, after all, it is the most important meal, <laughs> right? Now coming to Lhasen, I think you, my dear, have to make a big commitment. Can you guess what the commitment would be? To eat the breakfast. To eat breakfast, because your mom, I think, is taking a lot of effort to make sure that you're eating something, right? And you, um, not eating anything, going to school empty stomach, can hamper your studies, can hamper your health, right? So it's a big risk. So maybe, so what's your promise then? 
I promise that I'll eat breakfast every day. Okay. These are good commitments. I think those are one of the most practical and very, very, very useful commitments. We'll make sure you follow that. Um, now let's go to our next segment, which is, I love this segment, it is called With Love. Now, in this segment, you've written a letter for your daughter and you have written a letter for your mom, right? So we'll start off with your letter. Okay. Dear Hazan, as we march your future, we want you to know that we are proud of you. Although the journey has not always been easy, the strengths that you have been, you have made to us becoming mature, becoming independent, and also trying to take ownership of your decision over the years also have been wondrous to watch. You're becoming quite the young daughter, a witty, intelligent and sensitive who always has started to understand the meaning of family as a team. We also truly appreciate how you act towards and deal with your families at home and also your utmost feelings and care to your little sister which will which will be an everlasting memory for us. Your little sister will always look up to you for how and what you are up to now and even in future too. Um, whatever you decide to do after school, we want you to be happy. Look inside yourself and identify your passions. The things that make your soul sing and follow the path where this shall lead. Leave your dreams and no one else. For the journey of over the rest of these years in school, we take with you our big support, cheering from our sides, and most of all, our love. Think big and dream large. Your options are many. Thank you for being our daughter, for adding your uniqueness to our family. Thank you for being responsible and for being a good example to your little sister with love. Wow, what do you take from that? So what, what's your response to that? What's your reply to that? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, she says. All right. That's kind enough. Here is Lazen's letter to you. Lazen, please go ahead and read it out loud. To my mom and dad. Dear mom and dad, thank you for your loving and caring. May mom and dad be happy forever and live forever. I love my mom and dad. My mom, when you smile, you look beautiful. Dad, when you are happy, I'm also happy. Mom, you are beautiful and kind. Dad, you are handsome and helpful. Two of you are the best parents in the whole world and I am so lucky to be born as your daughter. I know I end up doing things you don't like. But still both of you forgive me after knowing what I am doing is wrong and most importantly two of you, you corrected our mistakes which is very important for us. In, in life my mom and dad sacrificed a lot for me and my sis, sister when, when we ask them to buy for us something they leave aside their needs and fulfill our desires. We are very lucky to have a very understanding parents like you too with love. Oh, that was so sweet. Do you actually feel like that? Yes. Oh, you got such a pretty smile. You need to keep smiling, okay? <laughs> there you go. I love that smile. All right. So um, I personally love this section because this is where people get very open. They open their heart. Did you open your heart to write that letter? Yes. Are you sure? Yes, ma'am. Okay, all right, good. All right, with this, we've come to the last segment or last part, which is just for you. And this is a gift from, can you read it out? Titan. Titan, all right, let's see. Thank you. You can open it up, you're welcome. Watch. Watch. <gasps> can I take a look at it? It's really pretty, right? Do you like this color? Yes, ma'am. All right, okay, good. Um, do you have a watch at mm. home? No? <gasps> this is your first watch? Is it? No. You've had a watch before, but you broke it? All right, I can tell. I've done that too, so many times. Okay, so do you want to try this on? All right. So now maybe you'll be able to have a new, you'll be able to wear this, right, to school. Would you love to do that? 
Yes, ma'am. And show it off to your friends. <laughs> Look, I got a new watch. Sickle. So your favorite color is pink, but yes. I'm really sorry we have this in gold. It's okay. There you go. It's a little... But you can okay. shorten it, all right? You can shorten it for your um, wrist. Now, you know how to read time because you're in fifth grade, right? So m make good use of that watch, all right? Titan's gifting it to you for being such a wonderful child on this show. And Titan is also giving it to you because you've made a beautiful commitment, right? You remember your commitment? Yes, What is it? I promise that I'll always eat breakfast. Okay. That is why Titan gave it to you, huh? <laughs> okay, with this, we've come to the end of the show. I really want to thank you and your mom for coming to the show. I really appreciate you dragging your mom here. Did you have fun? Yes, ma'am. Good, that's very important. And did you have fun, la? Yes. <laughs> Good, la. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Let the child know that you are interested and involved and that you will help when needed. Turn off the television or put the newspaper down when your child wants to converse. Avoid taking a telephone call when the child has something important to tell you. Unless other people are specifically meant to be included, hold conversations in private. The best communication between you and the child will occur when the others are not around. Come back next week and if you'd like to be a part of this show or if you have any suggestions or feedback, please email us at parenting at bbs.com. Dot BT. Bye bye and see you soon.